Oval. Go on. Welcome to Shrewsbury. Uh, I used to live here, just there, in fact. And I'm here for this Underpar Passport episode to elucidate a certain point. And the reason I'm back in Shrewsbury is with the Underpar Passport videos, it's all about getting out to courses that I might not have been to before, letting you guys know what they're all about in case you ever wanted to go there. But I think sometimes I'm guilty of not actually getting to know the courses which are on my doorstep. Because Shrewsbury is a place amazing to live and I can see myself coming back here, but when I was here and as a golf pro and as a journalist, I just didn't take advantage of the area. There was so many places that I wanted to go. I didn't find the time to actually get to. But one of the courses I wanted to get to, namely the highest course in England, that has been remedied today. And I'm not going alone. Hello. So yeah teamed up with BMW for a few videos. They have dropped me off this car. So this is a 530e, this is the hybrid. And I'm taking this down to, well, I'll tell you the golf course in a moment, but I'm also playing in the BMW Celebrity Pro-Am next Wednesday at Wentworth. So it's the Pro-Am which precedes the actual BMW PGA Championship. So really, really excited, cannot wait for that. Hey BMW, take me to Kington Golf Club. All right, our next destination is Kington Golf Club. So anyway, a lot of countryside to cover. I've got to drive through Shropshire, down into Herefordshire, about an hour and 20 minutes from here. Oh man, I cannot wait to play this place. I've wanted to play it for so long, and now today is the day. <laughs> Now, Alan, I want to be, I want to be talking to you, <laughs> Mister. Your head greenkeeper. Head greenkeeper, yeah, yeah. And what am I expecting when I get out here, Alan? What's, uh, what am I expecting? It's an inland links. Obviously. It's an inland links. You're gonna have some nice, nice tight lies on the fairways. You're gonna have some nice sloping greens. A couple really? of Mackenzie greens on there. Any decent views? Yeah, you've you got think? the views. You've got the views of seven counties. Seven counties. Seven old counties, yes. And you've got the, you have the quarries out at uh, Walton and New Radnor, and then you've you got the Black Mountains. Uh, Brecon Beacons, which are behind me. Uh, yeah, you'll see for miles and miles and miles and miles. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. Can you, you name really the seven it. counties off the top of your head? Not off the top of my head because they've changed since, but you've got uh, Paris, Herefordshire, Shropshire, uh, Radnorshire, four, but there were seven. They That's amalgamated them. We can make them up. Yeah, yeah, Gloucestershire, Worcestershire. Oh, there we go. There you go. No, uh, I'm missing one somewhere. Missing one, which was the Radnorshire one that's no longer in Radnorshire, it's Paris. We'll call it Allenshire. You call it Allenshire or go. Keepshire. <laughs> And that is quite the zone view behind there. Oh my word. And we've arrived here at Kington and wow. <laughs> it is absolutely stunning. And it is so still, there is not a breath of wind. It's perfect sunshine. You might be able to see just the walkers out there as well. So this is a, a National Trust Hill, which I didn't realize. It's kind of like a national park for you guys in the States. And it's just, beautiful already and i'm not even gotten out onto the course just been having a chat to some of the guys here and there's some pretty interesting stuff out on this course which i didn't even know about so i'm looking forward to experiencing it first hole looks tricky uphill let's have a warm up on a back shall we well i love this course already i've just got to the back of the green i've not got my putter out i'm pretty sure it didn't go long it was absolutely bang on line. It took one big hop. It, <laughs> am I moving to Kington? <laughs> so that's one hole played and that's um, two under. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Now, if you come play here behind the first green, there's this post. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sign this ball in a really weird pen. Eagle two. I'm going to bury it here. So if you're playing at Kington, find that ball. 
Because that approach is so uphill, I didn't see it go in. That was the first shot I've hold from any distance. Well, it's probably about 100 yards, but... Slight problems on the second. Hole number two is a dog leg right. I didn't read that, and I can kind of see where it goes up there. I went for that um, fairway. Now, I don't know if this is fully accurate, but you see this kind of dip and kind of rounded bank here. So up on top of the hill, there used to be a racetrack back in the day, horses, and it goes around the second, and I think maybe it goes around there. As well as the old racetrack, they've got some old cockfighting pits up here. So they had a race course and cockfighting pits up here, and it's a National Trust property, and there's a golf course here. It's like, and the views. Well, it's not quite gone in, but it's left me a good chance. I think that would be the cockfighting pit there. So back in the day, lots of chickens would have lost their lives for the merriment of other people. Thankfully, it's now a golf course. You can't quite see, but you can probably tell that the course is completely empty this morning. There's a shotgun start, a charity event on one. So that's why I've got the buggy and I'm coming around. But I have to say, if you are coming here, don't get a buggy. I need the buggy today because I've got all my kit with me and walking around with a rucksack, my bag and camera and all the rest of it is a little bit too much effort for a, a soft ass like me. But walk if you're coming here because you need to just, you need to be in this. And I think when you're in a buggy, you are kind of cut off slightly from the environment. And here they are, the army of fairway cutters. There's Dave, there's John, Malcolm, Cynthia. So trying to take the emotion out of this a little bit. I mean, I'm already pretty much submitting with this place, so you got to bear that in mind. But Tom Doak said about this place, so obviously a very well-renowned course architect, said if you are looking for something different, you're going to remember Kington a long time after you've played other championship venues. And he's right, because this will last in the memory. Recency bias is a real thing. Uh, so obviously when I step away from here, I'll have to be a little bit more analytical about it, but. Right now, it's incredible. So I'm on the 13th here, it's 382 yards. Gonna have a bit of an experiment. So this hole, slightly downwind, slightly downhill, and the altitude. Let's see how far we can hit it. It's 382 to the center of the green. Gonna hit three or four drives here, see what happens. My target line is basically over the corner of these ferns. So I'm gonna be keeping my stern in behind, launching it as high as I can with as much power as I can. Yeah, that could do all right. Oh. Wow. I have had an absolute nightmare. There is the pin, which was quite a long way to the right of where I was hitting. And this is pretty much my line for the three shots. Unless I got very lucky and kind of ended up by the sheep and the hut. Oh my, look at that. That is three brand new TP5s up the Swanee. However, I've got another chance. 543 yard par five, look at it. And rather unfortunately for my one ball left, I'm gonna to have to be pretty accurate as well, avoiding the sheep and finding that narrow slot of fairway. Come on. I found three more balls. I'm actually running out of tees now. <laughs> oh, wow. Go ball, go on. And that's landing. Now, I didn't quite see it bounce, but it was pretty much bang in the middle. Ah, cut hard. And, well, that's definitely lost. The middle of the green's 175. Bear with me. 368 yards. Three hundred 
and 70 yards. <laughs> Let's round it up. Come on. Give me a break. It's a beautiful day. I'll, I'll, I'll replace it. I'll replace it. Well, made it to 18. It's 279 yards. Uh, there's the green, and I've only brought my driver to the tee. Not sure I can be bothered going back. So I've got to take about 90 yards off my last drive. I'm in the air somewhere. So I've lost f about five brand new balls. There you are. Oh, this. Ah, buggy's in the way. Everyone's in the clubhouse waiting to go out. So I'm going to take a little bit more time on this one. That's things. Retake it. I'm getting a chance to retake it. I kind of knew what to expect you know I looked at the website obviously and kind of figured out some of the things that I wanted to try and do up here but I've been incredibly surprised just at how good the course was for a start I think if you took that course and you actually placed it somewhere else other than this really high point it would still hold up but with the views it just kind of transported it to a, a whole whole just different level altogether I think after everything that's happened today, I don't want to leave, but I do have to. I've got to drive back up through Shropshire. So Shropshire, Herefordshire, and then into the borders of Wales, Worcestershire as well. People aren't generally going to come here to play golf, but there are a few really good venues that you could try if you wanted to. Come on then, Mr. BMW. Take me home. So all done and down to The Grove uh, in Hertfordshire. It's a lovely greyish day. But guys, that is it. So stay tuned for the Pro-Am video from the BMW, which will be coming very, very soon. I'm just so excited to actually play in that event. I've wanted to play in it for so, so long. So big thanks to BMW for actually getting me in it and for lending me this car for the week. Guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and please comment below on everything that you saw from Kington as well. Is that a course that you would like to go and play? Right. Ah. Pretty sure I can operate the door.